Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the Python for Data Science model, in the previous video, we have seen what is dictionaries and we have performed a few operations using dictionaries. In this video, we're going to explore data frames using Pandas library. If you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe my channel to get more updates and let's get into the video. First of all, what is a data frame? Data frame is a two-dimensional data structure. It is similar to Excel workbook where your data will get aligned in rows and columns. And data frame comes from Pandas library. What is the structure of data frame? How a data frame looks like? This is the table which we have displayed using data frame. And this is how your Excel worksheet looks like. So the difference is, you see that the row number starts from one here and here it starts from zero. And to access any cell in Excel, we'll be accessing that equal the column name like B and the row number like B3, right? So this is the one way of accessing cells in Excel. But in data frame, we have multiple methods. Now you might be having a question, if data frame is similar to Excel, then what is the need of data frame? What is the speciality in data frame? Yes, of course, there is a big advantage. Using data frame, you can access huge data set. I mean, large set of data set. Using Excel, if you are accessing more than 10,000 rows of a data set, your Excel sheet will get slowed down and you can't access it properly. But data frame is fast and efficient. You can access millions of data. All right, what are the basic operations using data frame we are going to do? So these are the operations. To view rows and columns, we're going to use data frame dot shape function. And to view top records, we're going to use head. To view bottom records, we're going to use tail function. And to access all columns, I mean column names, we're going to use data frame dot columns, which will be displaying all the column names. And if you want to access one column information, you can access data frame dot. And within the list, you need to specify the column name. And if you want to access multiple columns, you need to specify it in a list like this, column name one and two and three and etc. Let's flip to Google Colab and we'll do the demo. First, let's import pandas library. Import pandas pd and run the cell. To read CSV dataset, Upload your CSV dataset into your Google Drive and mount your Google Drive with Google Colab over here. Click here and mount it. I have given link in the description box for your reference. Please check those videos to connect or mount your drive with Google Colab. Now I am going to read dataset using data frame a variable using pandas library and read underscore CSV. As our file is CSV, I am going to use CSV. And you need to copy paste the file path. You know, paste here, run the cell. Okay, so now I want to know the rows and columns in this data set, the number of rows and columns. For that, you need to use data frame dot shape and run the cell. So these are the number of rows and these are the number of columns available in the data set. How to read the top five rows from your data set? Data frame dot use head method. By default, it displays the top five rows. You see that it starts from zero and up to four rows. And these are all the columns. To display last five rows, use data frame dot tail and run the cell. It will display the last five rows. All right. Now, if you want to display a top 10 rows, then I'm going to use the same head method, but I'm going to pass argument as 10, so which is which is going to display 0 to 9 records. Okay. Now, I want to know the column names. So for that, you need to use data frame dot columns, which is going to display all the columns. We have got 12 columns over there, so these are the column names. Now, if you want to display a particular column information, let's say that um, data frame, 
I'm going to use uh, so the, these are all the available column names I'm going to print their names and run so these are all the names okay and now what if I want to access multiple columns here here we have accessed one column okay so I need to access multiple columns here for that I'm going to use a list over here I'm going to use a name and uh, the next column name is a cabin as these column names are available here I'm going to use this name and cabin so I just want to view this information run so it will be displaying you this passenger is in this cabin all right so these are all the operations in data frame in the next video we will see how to do indexing using data frames hope you like this video thanks for watching the video